can show up to meet Danny. So there are some days that are not Eastern. So God might not meet Danny, but that doesn't say he will not meet him. Praise the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. Can you see that some of us, because we have mm -hmm. been so jobless, mm -hmm. that has made us not give more time to study the word of God and go out, go out for evangelism. In which if we have gotten that job, we will not have time for the things of God. And those, those of you that have been doing the things of God, before God bless you with that miracle you are being in need of, please, when God blesses you, that does not mean you should stop whatsoever thing you have done for, been doing for God. That is another mistake we make. When God blesses you, it will tell you that it comes to encourage to continue that thing that brought that miracle. Because when you continue, it comes to blesses you the more. So all these excuses, if I don't have time, I don't have time. See, God will not give you something that will not make you to have time for him. That is not the God I said. See, we are, some of us are children. How many of us want to give something to our children that at the end of the day, that child no longer have your time? It is not possible. If I thought it happened, it's yet be for a while. Know how to organize your program that you must have time for God. You must have time for the things of God. If I thought you cannot have time the way you are supposed to, you used to have time, but at least let there be a time set out. It is very, very important to your, to, to, to your salvation. Anything that is not out feeding your spiritual life is out to destroy you. Because until you are okay spiritual, there's no way you can be okay. Okay, they will all crumble. But it is a spiritual that is the foundation of it. It's not like a house without foundation. There is no beauty that that house has. It's a matter of time that house will crumble. Remember, the Bible says to us in Matthew chapter seven concerning a house that is built yes, solidly and, and, and upon the rock, and the one that is built upon the sand. He says, "Storm came to both of them. None of them that did experience storm. Storm came to both of them. One was able to stand because of it was." Upon the rock, and which is the word of God, which is Jesus, which is the spiritual life that was still you know, toughly rooted. But the other one, when it faced Tom, there's no way it could start because it was built upon the sandy soil. So please begin to examine your life tonight as I speak. As I speak to you, to you I speak also to myself. So you wonder why many at times you go forward, you go backward. You go forward, you go backward concerning that wet. At times your, your hands are quite something, all of a sudden your hands are dry. And over a time before you get there again, there's the grace of God. Why? Because check your spiritual life. It's a spiritual that controls it. Praise the Lord. Amen. You wonder why that sickness, it leaves you. I found why he comes back. Why? Because spiritually it has not been settled. You have not yet, the, 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 the relationship with God is not yet to go clear. So the enemy can still come in and do whatsoever they do they, they, they like with your life. I pray you'll be ascended tonight in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I see you be loose in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. I see you be set free and delivered in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. right? Freedom is yours in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So, praise the Lord. Amen. First of all, I wrote here, I said, Faith is you believing God can do it. I was just looking for a short way to explain faith to us, not to make it so elaborate so that we will not understand. That faith is you believing that God can do it. No matter the situation, you just have that belief that God can do it. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is just faith on its own. Then looking at great faith, what does faith, when we say a great faith, what kind of faith are we talking about? Number one, I have here, A, I have here is our refuse, when you refuse to give up. See back to that Matthew chapter 15. When you refuse to give up. When you refuse to give up. Matthew chapter 15. Mm -hmm. The Canaanite woman's story. We are back to that story again from verse 21. Let me show us some points here. See? Then Jesus from verse 21, Matthew 15. Then Jesus went test and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, the woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me. Oh Lord, that son of David, my daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. Look at the situation of this woman's daughter. The daughter was oppressed with a devil, with a demon. The daughter was not okay. Then look at what happened. He came to report a case to Jesus. Verse 23 he said, But he answered her not a word. He answered her not a word. What happened when heaven is silent concerning your case? He answered her not a word. Some of us, we have prayed and we have prayed and prayed. That situation seems to remain the same. This was the case of this woman. He told Jesus, one would have felt that immediately Jesus would have responded. But the Bible said, Jesus didn't answer her a word. Everyone's we are silent concerning this woman's case. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Do you still hold on when everyone seems to be silent concerning your case? Praise the Lord. Our case was like someone being abandoned. Look at the disciples' response. See verse 23. Say, and his disciple came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after her. That she has become a source of, how would I say, whether embarrassment or a source of, you know, if the people are looking, two are people are saying looking down on us. Is that what we are telling Jesus, care less to us, it does not matter to us. At times, does you, do you not feel like that? You are afraid, you have believed God. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. You have believed God and notice this to be happening. At times, you feel and say, do God even care? What is the situation of this woman? But this woman, she refused to give up her faith. She refused to give up her faith. She continued to hold on to God. That was how I wrote here that word. The faith that refuses to give up. That is what we call great faith. She refuses to give up. Let's continue with the story. Verse 24. He said, but he answered and said, Jesus answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of, of the house of Israel. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's, that's a kind of embarrassing. I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the as of Israel. That's it says that what Jesus says that what to me I, I, I don't I care less about your case. To me, it's as if you don't exist. You are not in my you are, you are not in my list. You are not among the people I, I came for. I don't know how you feel. You are looking up to some somebody for something, and at the end of the day, you know this person will give you at the end of the day, just ignore you. Every one of us feel that pain. You know how many that be offended at God, offended at the church or the pastor and started staying at home because when I needed attention, it was not given. This was what the case of this woman. This was what her faith was suffering. Her faith, before Jesus called her faith a great faith, it has to pass through different processes. Her faith refused to give up. Her faith refused to take no of, for an answer. Her faith faced embarrassment. She was embarrassed. Imagine they gave you go forward. Why did I say she was embarrassed? Jesus asked to tell her three verse you see. He said, but he answered and said, it is not meant to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. In the early, if Jesus was like saying that what? You are a dog. This was so touching. But this woman facing embarrassment just because of what, he, what she needs. You have gone to somebody to give you something and it's calling you all kinds of names. At times you say that, ah, no kind of embarrassment is it. To end with what, what I came to. If you don't want to give me, go, go away with it. Let me even die. If I tell I want to lose my life, I care less. This woman said, pass to pass through all this. Pass through what? She refused to give up. Pass through embarrassment. Pass through rejection. Pass through resentment. But she continued to uh, hold on. She refused to uh, take on for an answer. Eh, number B, her faith was focused. Be focused. Please don't don't drift position. Not today you are strong in the Lord. Tomorrow you are called in him. Then you remember that ah, this needs God must meet it. You are going to try that me give you. Then you come back and da, 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 da. you see some Christians where they are, they pray some prayer. And when things just happen, you see where the way they are shaking. You see the words that evil come come out from their mouth. And you wonder, is this one that is a Christian? Is it the same brother or sister I met praying, speaking in tongues? What has happened in the faith that he or she professed? Please let no such, you know, let that not be your kind of faith. It will not attract the miracle you want. And something about you know about Christianity. When you come to know God, you might operate at a very low faith and you get your miracle. But as time goes on, God expects your faith to grow. He expects your faith to grow over time. Over time. Over time. There's a miracle that delays, like for eternity to not come. That is your faith growing. Passing through the training process. And when actually God answers, it's just like what the Bible recorded concerning Elijah when he was expecting rain to fall. The Bible says that well, he has to say the sermon seven times. The rain didn't fall out. Even when God has promised, remember God told Elijah to go and make the king that he's going to send rain. How come God had promised Abraham, uh, uh, Elijah that he will send rain, that he didn't send rain immediately? Elijah has to go and labor in prayer again and again and again and again and again until and when the rain was so sure, he showed that the Bible says that the cloud started very little. I don't know what you have been believing God so great, but he's, God is giving you so in a minute way. He's giving you in a very little way. He's giving you in a very little way, tiny way. And it's as if your faith has started weakening. No, that little thing you see is to encourage your faith. Mm. 
That little you are seeing, you are believing God for a great healing, you know, the total healing of your body. It does not compare. At least you are having little relief. That is to show you that God is interested in that case. Mm. You have given me let me go for a thousand euro for a, a business or whatsoever it is. Yes, you have not you have seen hundred euro. That is to see that well, at least God had you. No, it's even give you joy that the king of kings and the Lord of all you have you in mind to even answer you. Ah, so who is more than that? So much worth. So our faith grew over time. I mean, it must be tried. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This woman was called a dog and she committed to hold on. And finally, what happened? The Bible says that finally, when the best 27 say, and she, she said, Truth, Lord, hear the dust is of the crumbs which fall from your master's table. That God, Jesus, even when you call me a dog, but you remember that what? Evil dog, they eat of the small, small bread. Yeah. You know, when person they eat bread, the one that they call crumbs, the one small, small, the pieces will fall for ground. He said, Dog, even go eat for that. That's the second God. Even when it's little, you can do for me. I'm talking. Okay. And when Jesus was moved, verse 20, he said, Upon ah, all I have said or we have done to this time, he said, Then Jesus answered and said unto her, Oh woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee, even as thou willest. And her daughter was made old from that very hour. After she has been tried in every way, Jesus has to admit and say, Ah! Woman, great is your faith. I see a great faith in you. Woman, you really prepare. Woman, you really make up your mind. See, all this is your option. If God does not do it. You know, some of us, we say, God, I see God is begging us to serve him. We are just hanging on. I see anything up when I shake out. You are free to shake out. You know why? When you shake out, you walk out left, right, and say that there's no way. You still sign your way to God. God does not drag anybody to serve him. If you are serving him for your own good, not for his own good. Because you serving God does not add anything or remove anything from God. So when God tells you to hold on, it's for your own good. And at the end of the day, you see what he says you should hold on. You might not understand. No, there are things that happen to us as Christians. I tell you, you are confused. You are fasting, you are praying, you are sourcing, you are not. I tell you, you are confused. Don't even know. And continue to say, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to encourage you. Continue to hold on. You know why that situation will not kill you, will not destroy you. It's only over a time. One thing that situation will do for you is that it will build up your faith over time. A time will come when you overcome. All that things will come and say, ah, I don't pass through the one way. I don't feel pass through the one way big pass, so I not kill me. If cancer not kill me, now you know, now eye problem will come kill me. Now two take will come kill me. You see, when you are passed through tough things, little things, and again, apart from it encourage, it goes to encourage other people too. You are not able to encourage others and say, don't worry, I know where God is taking me, what God has passed me, uh, taking me through. If he has taken me through tougher than this you are passing, I know he will do yours also. You see that all that you have passed you become a source of encouragement to us. So your life is not meant for you alone, but even to us because of others. So your faith must pass through processes before it's called great faith. You cannot just wake up and say, I have great faith. That faith must be tried. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. May you not disappoint God in Jesus' name. Amen. Even as yours, when you try today, may you not disappoint His name in Jesus' Amen. name. Everyone, they are, they are focusing on you. They are relying on you. They are looking to you and looking unto you and her. What would have happened on that cross if Jesus has turned back, you know, took his, his back on God and said, God, I, I'm, I'm done. I cannot do it. Enough is enough. Yeah. You are now wound up where we are today. Yeah. So please, don't make generation to come suffer because of you. Mm. Don't make generation to come suffer because of you. Many they have been unto you, unknown to us. What you do today, God will speak years and years to come. If you allow that great faith to reign. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. No, when there is a need, that makes us to know there is God. God bless you all. Amen. Before amen. I leave, amen. I want our, our, our custom in taking our holy communion. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Amen. I shall partake in that amen. tonight. Amen. Amen. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus set me free from sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus set me free. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus set me free from sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus set me free. 
The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus set me free from sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus set me free. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus set me free from sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus set me free. Oh, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus set me free. From sin and sorrow, the blood of Jesus set me free. Oh, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus set me free. From sin and sorrow, the blood of Jesus set me free. We have had the word of God tonight. Before I leave you, I want you to just begin to thank God. Open your mouth and begin to thank God. God, this word I've had. Father, Lord God, King of glory, begin to talk to God. Begin to talk to God. Father, meet that need. Meet that need instantly. Meet that need instantly. Meet that need instantly. By your power, let your will be done. Let your will be done. Let your will be done, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let your will be done, Lord. Let your will be done, Lord. Let your will be done. Lord. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. Let your will be done, Lord. In your will be done, Lord. Let your will be done, Lord. Let your will be done, Lord. Let your will be done, Lord. In Jesus' name we are free. Amen. Father, we thank you. We give a praise, we give a glory. We lift up your name on high. Father, we thank you for your word we have had tonight. Blessed be your holy name. Amen. Father, Lord God, I release your power to this holy communion. Amen. Lord, healing to the sick. Amen. Deliverance to the oppressed. Amen. Solutions to that problem. Amen. Father, let it begin to give wisdom. Amen. Lord God, Father, direction by your power. Amen. On what next to do in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let eyes be open. Father, spiritual eyes be open as a result of partaking in this holy Amen. communion. The Bible says, God ask and it shall be given. Amen. Seek and it shall find, not the door shall be open. Amen. Thank you for spiritual ears be open. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you for making yourself available. Please share this video. Please share, share it. Do me a favor. God bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. And also thank you for your wonderful likes and comments. The Lord bless you till I come across your way again next Wednesday by the grace of God, 7.30. And also on Sunday, worship with us online, also Facebook. Oh, yes, at 12.30 12 a.m. in the morning. God bless you. Amen. Till I come again your way. Remember, bless. Amen. Bye.